What's happening, everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I'm having a great day. I have a lot of shout-outs to do today because uh, it's been a week. So um, I want to thank all the new subscribers for one thing and everyone who participated in last week's uh, giveaway. Uh, new subscriber, uh, Anna Maria. Uh, people who participated in it, uh, shout-out to Richard C. And then someone called, come on, man! Uh, SJ Lofty, and uh, I do apologize to a couple of people who, you know, who participated and unfortunately live out of the country. Um, you know, I should have thought about that uh, ahead of time because, uh, you know, Gary Allen, you, you've been following me for a while and always comment, and, you know, I'd like to send everybody something, and, and this is something that uh, I'll, I'll keep doing. Um, I'm not going to sell the plants, the ones that accumulate, I'll just every once in a while. I'll propagate and just give them away to somebody. It's not that not that big of a deal. You know, you get some free plants. Uh, so also, shout out to uh, SJ Lofty who participated, uh, Rainbow Fish Talk, uh, and Langan and Animals and G Family, and the winner the winner for it who got a bunch of free vowels sent out directly from me uh, went to G Family. All right. Uh, so I hope you're. Uh, I got a pin. Uh, so. Go ahead and start giving me your address so I can mail it to you. Whenever you're ready. Alright, okay. right, fantastic. Thank you. Uh, so, this is the address that I got. Thank you for speaking loudly enough for me to hear you. I will be sending, uh, the address I got was nothing? Is that right? Going to nothing? Okay, all right, thanks. All right, cool. So uh, the winner, and that was a joke by the way, I have cracked jokes before, and because of my tone and my straight face, somebody thought I was actually serious once. Um, but anyway, uh, so because uh, G family is the winner. Uh, that person in particular wanted to know about uh, a Punta Jensen bulbs, and I'm going to tell you my experience with them and what I've had the most su success and what made the most sense to me. Um, and, and by the way, if you get a Punta Jensen bulbs, I have found that you can get them from order them from anywhere, but um, uh, Petco in particular for uh, $4.99. You can get a pack, and it says there'll be like four in that pack, but they'll actually end up being like six or seven, which is awesome. Um, the packs that you get at PetSmart, it's a it's a blend. It's um, a couple of Punta Gentian Ultivaceus and a lily bulb and an onion bulb, which, by the way, does grow an actual onion. I don't know why they put that in there. I put an onion bulb in my tank. Guess we'll start smelling like onions in a few weeks. Yeah. I mean, a full-blown like white onion. Uh, uh, um, I don't know if that's like their personal joke, but I mean, it had a cool stock. I just, my entire tank smelled like onions. Anyway, uh, Petco, so uh, Puntagens. Although it says on the package, once it starts to spring roots to bury it like one third down into the dirt in the substrate, you don't want to do that. Actually, you want to lay them, um, just sink them. Just sink them and let them settle down on the side. Now over, over a bit, you will see a little shoot come out. All right? Now, we're, I, I know you already know this because you've seen it happening, but I'm explaining how, how it buries itself. You, you, when you prematurely start to stick it in the dirt, you, act, you actually suffocate it, especially if you've got a really dense, fine sand or um, a fine uh, gravel. Uh, substrate it's gonna ruin everything so once you see the little nugget coming out from that same little spot where it's sprouting that's the same exact spot where all the roots start to come out okay so all the little roots come out from that same area and as this starts to grow these start to get longer and longer and longer and longer and as they get longer they start to pull on the bulb 
the bulb will start to look like it's going down nose first, but it's not, because as, as these are pulling down, this will start growing up. All right, and then you get all these lovely, I was going to pull mine out, but I couldn't, and it was because I realized I had a really deep mulm, and I'm going to explain what mulm is to you in a second. Um, so as, it's, as, as the roots get longer and it starts to pull from here down, you'll see it take a nose dive and stop when it gets here, and then the rear will start to swing under the substrate all on its own. You don't have to do anything. When you pick them up when they're in the middle of that process and stick them down into the into your sand or, or whatever substrate you're using, um, plants don't like to get moved at period, especially when they're just getting started. You're interrupting them right in the middle of doing their own thing. And a puntagens are a, uh, a seed, it's a plant that grows submerged, but it can also grow immersed. I'm going to show you mine here in a second because um, mine's grown through a 40 gallon tank and is over sprout the top of the tank and anyway um, they come from Madagascar so they have a defense because there where they're from in the rivers and streams there's a flood season and then there's a drought season and when there's a drought season those seeds have a super defense they absorb all the nutrients and every, everything that they need in order to start again when the dry season is over to bloom now in, inside that seed there's only enough to keep them going for a couple months at best so if you don't have a, a really solid nutrient rich substrate or a very thick mulm now this is why they're they're considered you know easy and a very first plant for everyone because what are a couple mistakes that new newbies never do one they usually start off using pebbles well when you use pebbles, they're not nutrient rich, but what they're great at doing is collecting mulm, which I'll explain to you is in a minute. And the reason they uh, collect a lot of mulm is because newbies also don't ever change their water. And mulm is made up of uneaten food. It is made up of uh, dying plant tissue. It's made up of fish waste. And uh, it all starts to uh, accumulate down at the bottom, which is fine. You can actually have as much of it as you want down there got enough beneficial bacteria which will the beneficial bacteria will start to compensate for how much mulm you have um, over time slowly you just don't get a bunch of it all at once you know you're this the slowly it builds up the more it has you know and newbies don't know to do any don't think to do anything else with these bulbs that's why it's so easy for them other than to just drop it in the tank and they watch the magic happen and they hadn't cleaned their tank in so long that it's got this layer of mulm and I'm gonna show you <coughs> So, let me get my pen here and point out what I'm talking about. So right here, if you look across here, you'll see there's a layer of what looks like crushed up dirt. And it goes all the way across my tank. Oh, and by the way, here's my uh, uh, Punta Gentian Olvaceus that is just draping over this tank. You know, I started off buying these little bulbs just like everybody else, you know, and then started doing other stuff. And um, when you do everything perfect with these guys, let me, let me wash my hands off. When you do everything perfect, what that was that was draping over the top or the flowers, that's how they duplicate, they pollinate, just like um, so they're a perennial. Um, and that's how they make more bulbs. But because they're everlasting, um, whenever they are uprooted or the river completely dries out, they go back to their seed form. And you can actually do this. If you find that your Ovaceus or any other kind of a Puntagentin, uh, which is why I like the Petco bags, because they're full of like, it's a surprise. You could get any kind of, there's all kinds of a Puntagens. You could, you could end up with one of my favorites, which I, have, I haven't gotten yet, which is a Lace of Puntagentin. You could get uh, an Ovaceus. You could get a Natin. Um, you could end up with a crispus, and crispus are cool. They had these like really thin, wavy, um, tall stalks, which are awesome. I, I've gotten those. Um, it, that's why I like to get them from Petco. But uh, anyway, if you do if you uh, do everything perfect, they will start to uh, bloom flowers or white flowers that split off, and then they'll pollinate, and make more. But uh, if if you find that you have you have one that has started, and then you uh, made the mistake of moving it around which can stop the whole thing. 
um, or it starts to have all of its leaves starting to die on you, it's probably starting to go through a, its dormant phase, which I've talked about other plants that do that. And if it does start to do that on you, you can start them all over. All you got to do is, is remove them, snip off all the leaves, uh, snip off all the roots, and then you can wrap them in a damp towel and just over weeks as the towel starts to dry, then the seed will also start to dry until eventually it's right back where you started and you, and you can do it again. Um, but not everybody knows that. Some people, they have their, I've talked and I've talked about this before, they'll notice their uh, Apunta gentian starting to die and it doesn't really make much sense to them. So they just pull it out and throw it away. You just, you, you did something wrong. You moved it, um, you have bad, I mean, and it can tolerate a lot of temperature. Um, the leaves, in particular, don't absorb uh, nutrients at all. It all comes out of the roots and out of the seeds. And when it's drained the seed dry of everything, it's got to make more, you know, to put back in there to replace it. And the roots get really, really long. Um, so my best piece of advice with those is never bury them, okay? Um, and you'll know when, when it's, because I've seen them start to sprout in like two days. Now, what happens when you prematurely bury them, you're also stopping them from doing what they do, and that's acting like a sponge. They will not start to grow all the way until they've completely absorbed all the water that they can possibly um, handle until they're waterlogged. This is where other people make mistakes. Some people put them in, and, and it floats instead of sinks, and they're like, oh, this one's no good, and they, and they toss it. That's not the case either. Um, it just it's going to take longer for it to get waterlogged eventually it'll get waterlogged it'll then sink and then it'll start i've seen them take two over two months before they even sprout and start doing their thing it just depends it depends on how long it's been dormant and how much water and other things it needs to start um uh consuming until it until it becomes a plant um anyway so this video is already yeah so we're already at we're we're at 12 minutes talking about punta gentian bulbs uh, if you have any other questions, go ahead and ask in the comments. I always forget something, even though I think I cover everything. I, sometimes I do forget something about a particular plant. So um, uh, go ahead and ask. There are plenty of bulb plants, but they do all, in general, work the same. Um, so, yeah, just drop a comment. And congratulations to G family, uh, who won a bunch of free Valisinaria. Uh Enjoy those. They'll get to you soon. And... Uh, I hope everyone has a fantastic week. I'll see you in a few days when I come up with something else for us to talk about. Thank you so much for watching. You have a fantastic night.